Good day everybody, Vanisher01 here with another commentary on Battlefield Bad Company 2. Now I've got a lot of questions to get through and some I want to kind of talk a bit more in depth about so I'm going to start getting moving. I'll give a bit of a, a my thoughts on the M14 first day. Uh, I do like it actually since I've got my new controller it's been uh, a lot different to use the M14. It doesn't have a dead spot the Onza like a lot of you know, standard controllers do so I can be very precise with it and that's what you really need with the M14 without optics you need to be very precise because the crosshairs are the iron sights are a little yeah a little dodgy yeah I don't particularly like them they're very small so yeah something you have to be very precise with at distance it's very hard sometimes but with the you know with the Onza it's, there's no dead spot so you can be that extra precise with it. Just wanted to give a little reminder to people too, I do have about a hundred commentary videos now and I'm starting to get questions that I've already answered in the past. So yeah, I think if you go back and have a look, you know, you'll probably find your answer to a lot of the questions you've been asking. Alright, moving right along with the questions. Origin of Red, you know when you toss C4 sometimes and try to detonate it and it just doesn't explode? Is that a game mechanic? that causes it or some sort of glitch. I've noticed that myself and I'm not too sure about it. I've noticed it sometimes when you put down your C4 and some sort of enemy fire hits it. I don't know if it... I've heard somewhere too that if you see enemy mines on the ground and you shoot it once with your pistol or you know it kind of makes it yours or something like that. So I don't know if a similar thing happens with your C4. But I don't know if that's even true with the mines. One thing I can say for sure, it's a real pain in the ass when it does happen, especially when you got your C4 on a tank or ready to blow up a tank and the next second your C4's not detonating, so it is a real fucking pain in the ass, I'll say that much. So Wolf Gunner 4564, have you ever shot a real gun and if you have what? And when? Uh, when and what? Firearm laws here in Australia are very restrictive on semi-automatic and fully automatic weapons, so they're not too prevalent in society around here. That's due to a tragic incident we had a few years ago where a guy went on a killing spree with a semi-automatic weapon. So you can only really find bolt actions in that. But at uh, Army Open Day when I was about 14, I did hold a number of weapons. I held an M60. And when I say I held it, I could hardly pick the fucking thing up, really. That was it, <laughs> you know, I couldn't even get the fucking thing up, mate. Ah, that's what she said. So, uh, yeah, moving right along, what else have we got here? Jerry Manu. Quick question, in BC2 nothing rubs me the wrong way more than seeing a level 50 running with a platinumed weapon. Do you think weapon degradation would be a good idea in the BF series? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think just because you have a platinum weapon, it should be any less of a weapon than what others are using of the same type. I did see one comment where it would be uh, a unique idea to have camo for a platinum weapon. I think that would be good. Just something, you know, kind of aesthetic for you to see, you know, oh, I've got a platinum weapon, here's my new camo kind of thing. That'd be a good little thing. A bit black opsy, but still, you know, it'd be a good thing. When a level 50 is running around with a platinum weapon, most likely it's because he's used to that weapon, he's either platinum most of the other weapons, so if he uses another one it's probably going to be platinum anyway. Uh, you know, what's he supposed to end up using sniper rifles because he hasn't platinum yet? You know, that would be my case, you know, what am I going to just use sniper rifles from now on because I've platinum the engineer and assault kids and I'm halfway through the medic. So then what, do I have to just use sniper rifles? No. Just because a weapon's platinum it doesn't mean that you know, it's any better or worse than any other weapon, you know. It just means the person's been playing the game a long time and they've platinum that weapon, that's all it means. Okay, the Iron Drone 4. Do you think the shotgun magazines are way too small? I do. Four shots in the chamber with 12 in reserve, so 16 all up. It's not enough compared to other weapons. You can put the two specs on the, um ammunition upgrade and the tube upgrade but you know then again you're gonna lose out on other things that you might want to use 
Yeah, I think they maybe should increase it. Maybe actual 8 to 12 in the chamber with 24 maybe in reserve. Just, you know, so you have that, that extra punch. You're not constantly having to fill up. Especially if you're an engineer and you're running in a shotgun. It's, it's very bad. Even a medic, you know. You have to constantly rely on the ammo guy to be near you all the time. Get you in a bit of a bind sometimes when you're really low on ammo and you have to switch to your pistol. So, KXYZ258, which weapons would you like to see in BF3 for BF veterans? I'd like to see the G36C. I reckon that'd be a great gun to have in the Battlefield series. It was in Battlefield 2, so it would be nice to see it in Battlefield 3, whether it would be there or not, I don't know. But yeah, that's one weapon I really would like to see. Bizarre Man 23 asks, how are Australian women compared to the States? Um, I've known too many American women. I can tell you Australian women are very independent. They're not going to take your shit, you know. They're not going to, you know, put up with a lot of crap from you. All women are different all over the world, eh? It's, yeah, it's what makes them unique and woman-like. <laughs> Why men find them interesting. If they were all the same, it would be a bit bloody boring, wouldn't it? Just trying to get by, do you think the different camos are actually effective on certain maps? Um, on certain ones, yeah. The nighttime map, the spec out camo can be quite helpful. You're not white. I mean, it blends in with the white background too, but... Also, the black camos, I think, is a little more effective. I typically just run the, the SA because not many people know what it is. I get a lot of questions like that, eh? What's the SA mean, you know? So, I guess that it's kind of like psychological warfare for the enemy. Oh, hold on, that guy doesn't look like everybody else. What's going on here, you know? Do, do I shoot at him? What's going on? Is he a teammate? You know, it's, sometimes it's quite funny, you know? You see people kind of stop for a second and look at you and, oh, hold on. But yeah, it's uh, effective on some maps, but not all, you know? It's got to pick and choose, really. I typically run it all the time now, just for a bit of a switch up, a bit of a change. So yeah, this is the final question here. Actually, there was one more. I've taken a pill and my erection has lasted more than three hours. What should I do? Yeah, I'm gonna fuck the name up. Zest Orendai Still, I think it is. Tried my best on that one. Uh, take a picture, mate. Put it up on your wall and you know have a look at it every day. Three hours, mate. Gotta be proud of it. <laughs> so kind of like the final thing I wanted to mention too is uh, subscribers and friend requests. That's going to be happening with Battlefield 3. I'll be having a new account. I'm going to try and keep the similar gamer tag too on the Xbox. And if I'm on PC, rocking around, you know, I'll send people out a, a message saying I'm on this server or whatever. But what I'll do is I'll take um, as many friend requests as I can on the release date of Battlefield 3. And if you, my list is filled up, then it'll be like messages to join in game from then on. That account will be active, you know, a couple of days a week. I won't be using it all the time, so I won't be using that to play every night. I'll be still playing with my mates on my other account. But then I'll have, you know, certain nights where I'll go onto that account and say, all right, here I am. And most likely it'll be on an Australian server too. So the time differences are going to be a problem for a lot of people. And maybe, yeah, and the lag too. But yeah, that's the way it's going to work, okay? When Battlefield 3 comes out, the new account will be up. I'll post the gamer tag in the first video for Battlefield 3, and that account will be open, you know, for the life of Battlefield 3. And then I'll um, take uh, any friend request on that day one. So first come, first serve kind of thing. And again, yeah, a couple of nights a week, I'll be playing on that. We can all jump in. I'll have my mates with me, put them on the list first, and uh, yeah can all play together then, like that. So yeah, at the moment, Battlefield 2 is kind of at the end of its life, and my mates and I are really just fucking around at the moment, we're not being too serious with the game. And I think it would be good to, you know, share the experience of ranking up and all that with the people I'm playing with. That's kind of the reason I really want to wait until Battlefield 3 comes out. Also, I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank D Crew Colin for his comment on my last video. It really made it more understandable. The way I kind of described it wasn't too great, and he put it more eloquently. It 
and he had a bit more experience on the PC side of things too, so it made a lot more sense coming from him. But that's how I basically feel about it too, you know. It's, it's nothing to really get all upset about. People are going to do it. Learn to do it yourself. It's not that hard to do. Just why, why, and there you go. You know, it's, it's getting the timing down. That's all that matters. So I'll catch you again next time, and thanks for watching.